Chapter 16 of the First Epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians, American Standard Version. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, and to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sam Stinson, by his faith.com. Chapter 16. Now, concerning the collection for the saints, as I gave order to the churches of Galatia, so also do ye. Upon the first day of the week, let each one of you lay by him in store, as he may prosper, that no collections be made when I come. And when I arrive, whomsoever ye shall approve, them will I send with letters to carry your bounty unto Jerusalem. And if it be meet for me to go also, they shall go with me. But I will come unto you when I shall have passed through Macedonia. For I pass through Macedonia, but with you it may be that I shall abide, or even winter, that ye may set me forward on my journey, whithersoever I go. For I do not wish to see you now by the way, for I hope to tarry a while with you, if the Lord permit. But I will tarry at Ephesus until Pentecost, for a great door and effectual is opened unto me, and there are many adversaries. Now, if Timothy come, see that he be with you without fear, for he worketh the work of the Lord, as I also do. Let no man therefore despise him, but set him forward on his journey in peace, that he may come unto me, for I expect him with the brethren. That as touching Apollos the brother, I besought him much to come unto you with the brethren, and it was not at all his will to come now, but he will come when he shall have opportunity. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, Quit you like men, be strong. Let all that ye do be done in love. Now, I beseech you, brethren, ye you know the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of Achaia, and that they have set themselves to minister unto the saints, that ye also be in subjection unto such, and to every one that helpeth in the work and laboreth. And I rejoice at the coming of Stephanus and Fortunatus and Achaeus, for that which was lacking on your part they supplied. For they refreshed my spirit and yours. Acknowledge ye therefore them that are such. The churches of Asia salute you. Aquila and Prisca salute you, much in the Lord, with the church that is in their house. All the brethren salute you. Salute one another with a holy kiss. The salutation of me, Paul, with mine own hand. If any man loveth not the Lord, let him be anathema. Maranatha, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Amen. End of chapter 16. And also the end of the book of the first epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians.